They don't remember, but I do. Pain that feeds on you drives you to lengths unimaginable. Pain that you give everything to. I know. I remember. And yet when the suffering inflicted upon you becomes too much and echoes out into the world, it casts you aside. I wouldn't wish that burden of injustice on anyone. Not when I can fix them. I can fix you. There you are, cornered by fire, trapped in your own anguish. How much did you have to endure to be encapsulated so entirely by your own hurt? Look at the smoke. You can't see clearly at all, my darling. Why don't I take you away, out of the depths of your own mind? It's so difficult alone, isn't it? The flames, they would take your last breath, and yet the cold remains an ironic discomfort in spite of its safety. I know how you feel, and what it's like being so used to pain that anything different feels wrong, but there is peace to be found for you, a life or death where you can be free of the intangible, invisible wounds that you've sheltered for so long, and you won't be alone, not in your last moments. Come here, little one. One touch, and I'll see it all. All your pain, all the hurt. I'll live through it all, just as you did, whether or not I want to. This is my curse, and your blessing, your happiness for my pain. A fair trade, darling, but don't feel guilty. This is all I've ever known. There it is, the light in your eyes. <laughs> it's wonderful. I envy it. You are free now. Your grief is now mine to bear. Now rest, little one. I wander, reigning everywhere, belonging nowhere. No one ever remembers the pain, but I do. It's okay. It's not okay. You're fine. Are you for fucking real? Stop. Stop. <laughs> I close the wounds of so many, only to be overtaken by my own. The trauma of all those I felt, I hold on to those moments. I keep them safe, secure. The silent wishes of the thousands I've taken from far outweighs personal repercussions, and so their stories remain ingrained in me, buried, buried, my memories in me, me in the ground. I can't keep up this pace of chasing what feels most like home. As long as I remember, I've run away from connecting with people normally. I stood out, unseeingly because of my abilities, but in the end, in my loneliness, I returned to seeking people out the only way I knew, in the fire, on common ground, but for you, I have to learn to warm myself up too. We can't separate ourselves from our traumas, we can only have grown to live with them. I don't feel much different most days, but I'm at least here, helping as I can in the company of good people. It takes time to adjust, but I'm learning to accept their concern for me. Through their support, I've been able to look at what's beyond, and I see that there is still more to do. I want to belong, I want to see the world as you do.